how's, how's you know, I think we've talked before. I mean, uh, you know, again, everybody's dream is not the CBI, it's the NCAA, but right. you, it's, a, it's a national tournament. You guys are playing great. You guys mm -hmm. just won a national championship. How do you mm -hmm. feel about the situation here? Yeah, I feel great. Uh, it's a lot of fun just to have these extra games just for me personally for my senior year, and I feel really good for the young guys on the team coming back next year because it's a great way for them to uh, get momentum going on the off season and um, just get excited about playing postseason basketball. You know, hopefully they'll be playing in a, in a different tournament next year, but um, making the most of this opportunity this year for sure. Coach said that, that he thinks a big part of why you've been playing so well is because you, you've relaxed and maybe a little less pressure now. Mm -hmm. You're just kind of trying to enjoy it while it mm -hmm. lasts. I mean, is that, that mm -hmm. what, just what it's supposed to come down to? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's um, something I've been wanting to do. You know, it's not like I, every game I'm just playing super tight and trying way too hard, but I think I've gotten a few more opportunities and, um, you know, confidence is a big part of the game and my confidence uh, has been able to grow a little bit over the course of this tournament. It's been a lot of fun. Important to have a game like you did last week, knowing that, that Brock might not be able to, to go again this week and that you know, other other guys are going to have to be relied on to yeah. step up even more. Yeah, definitely. I've, I've told everyone that's asked you, I mean, we're not going to replace Brock with, with one, you know, effort, you know, by one person on the team. It's going to be, you know, by committee, how, how it usually is when, when the guy goes down. But, you know, a guy of Brock's caliber is um, it's hard to replace, especially on this short of notice. So, you know, we're going to do our best for him to, to get back and help us out, you know, it's not for sure if he'll be out or not. You know, we're gonna do our best to get him back, but um, if he's not, we'll be ready to go. You, you live with him, right? Mm -hmm. What's he been like? Just been he, he, Brock's one of the most positive, upbeat guys you'll ever meet. Real easy going, you know. I mean, he's his parents are the same way. I was able to meet them the other week, and you know, he's, he's just very happy, up going, upbeat, um, easy going kind of guy. So he's he's done a great job. Yeah, almost we've almost felt worse for him than he's felt for himself. You know, so he's telling us to relax, and so it's it's cool to see him uh, have a good attitude about it. It's been a great play last game. What, how's your confidence going in Monday playing against Pittsburgh? Because obviously they're a Big East team, mm -hmm. you know, a different style. Of play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot different. Um, it's it's fun to watch film and look at a Big East team playing against other big. I mean, it's just it's a different uh, feel for us. I haven't played a Big East team since I can remember when. I've played Pitt before long time ago so it'll be fun um, playing them and then eventually going there and playing them it's it'll be a good challenge for us definitely the Big East is a good conference and uh, Pitt's a good team year in and year out it's kind of been like up and down season but what would this mean to win this this championship beat them and win the it'd mean a lot it'd mean a lot you know it's it's I think it says a lot about our team to have the maturity to make it even this far and, um, and we understand that we still have you know at the very least two more games at the most three more games to play making the most of that opportunity guys attitudes have been really good um, and as you win games in this tournament, you become a little bit more invested in it, obviously. And um, it's, it's, it's fun to see the guys just be excited about it and uh, come together at the right time. And, and um, it's, I mean, we're, we're thankful for the opportunity. A little bit of a reward for you. I mean, you've been here five years, and these big time programs are always so hesitant to come to the West Coast at all, but mm -hmm. especially to Pullman. Yeah. It's kind of a nice reward to, to have them have to come here and be able to get to play them. <laughs> yeah, Pullman's not a fun place to play, definitely. It's not an easy place to get to either. So I understand why a lot of programs don't come. Um, it'll be fun having a team uh, with a you know a big name on their chest coming in, and we definitely want to represent ourselves and our school as best we can against them. Um, you know, People are watching, and uh, we want to do our best against the uh, Pittsburgh Panthers on Monday. What do you expect from Pittsburgh on Monday? I, I just know what I've seen on TV over the last few years. they got the same coach in uh, Jamie Dixon, a very good coach, um, a, a program that really emphasizes defense, rebounding the ball, toughness. I mean, that's stuff that, you know, even in their worst years or the best years, it doesn't really matter. That's stuff that they can control. So, I mean, they're a team that's going to definitely bring that on Monday, Wednesday, and, you know, depending upon whether or not how the games go Friday next week. Um, so we can count on those things. I mean, th those things – any team that's going to make it this far in the tournament is going to have every night. So, you know, we're doing our best to prepare for that and, um, you know, other things too. Just just playing basketball, just doing what we, what's got us here. And it's just confidence and, you know, just having fun. You seen much tape on them yet? Haven't seen tons. We've seen a little bit on uh, the last couple of days. Um, you know, they just, they're just they athletic. You know, they're a little younger, but they're real athletic, play hard, um, just like most Pittsburgh teams have been over the last few years. And, you know, I'm sure they'll develop, um, like hopefully our program will develop over the next few years too and, um, you know, be some good teams in the future. They, uh, they don't look particularly big, but they're still, it looks like they're just rebounding mm -hmm. hard, huh? I mean, a lot of the, I mean, some of our best rebounding efforts, I mean, we're not, we're not a big team, and we've had some good rebounding efforts. And, you know, a lot of times teams that are a little undersized end up, you know, being really tough on the glass just because of the, you know, the toughness factor. And so I'm sure that they'll be ready to go, and we're going to have to match them on the glass um, every step of the way.